Boom, and just like that, we hit another all-time high for ETH. What a crazy week this has been, am I right? What if I were to tell you that this is just the beginning? Well, in this video, we're gonna go into some explosive inside tips on why I think that this is just the beginning for Ethereum. If you like the sound of that, make sure that you like and subscribe for more need-to-know videos just like this one. And make sure you watch until the very end, because at the very end, I go into some wild price speculations on where I think ETH is heading at the end of the year. My name is Kyle Chasse, and I've been in crypto for almost 10 years. On this channel, we go into deep dives about the inside world of blockchain. In just a few months, Ethereum will experience the London hard fork, which is the beginning of the migration from proof of work to proof of stake. One of Ethereum's biggest problems right now, as you all know, is network congestion, which leads to very, very high gas fees. This upgrade aims to reduce congestion with its network pricing mechanism, which involves a fixed network fee that is partially burned and also dynamically increases or decreases block size to facilitate more transactions. The goal of this fixed base fee transaction is really to make the whole process much, much easier. Right now, you kind of have to guess, always go to Ethereum gas station and look up what the price is. And sometimes we get screwed over on things because we don't use high enough gas and sometimes gas is too low, it takes hours to process. This whole process makes it using Ethereum very, very confusing to newbies and really even kind of intermediate crypto people alike. Another aim is really to reduce that annoying time when you submit a transaction and you go to Etherscan to check transaction and it's just sitting there saying pending and you have no idea if the transaction was actually successfully completed or not. You just have to sit there until finally the transaction data shows up on Etherscan and you know that it was successfully at least sent to the blockchain or not. Another huge bonus for Ethereum holders is that part of the transaction fee will be burned, making ETH much more of a deflationary currency, meaning that less supply, more demand, you know what that means for price. There's very little debate that Bitcoin is the most secure protocol in the world, consuming more electricity than a lot of nations. However, there's not nearly as much mining power behind Ethereum. So this transition from proof of work to proof of stake will actually make Ethereum more secure because the more value that's locked in nodes on the network, it'll make it very, very secure and very, very resistant to attacks. In a minute, I'm gonna go into ETH 2.0 and why that's gonna be absolutely massive for Ethereum. But as in any emerging market or technology, it takes some time to get there. In the interim, did you see polygons 9x run. So until we get there, there's some really, really awesome layer two scaling solutions and stay tuned to the end of this video because I go into one of them that I think is going to be huge. What are layer two solutions? Layer two solutions are basically off-chain transaction layers that do all the heavy processing and computation to alleviate a lot of the network congestion on layer one and they eventually settle on the layer one network. Back to ETH 2.0. There are three main scaling solutions for ETH 2.0. The first are state channels, which are payment transactions that are recorded off-chain and verified by the protocol handling that task. The protocol will verify that transaction was true and submit the information to ETH without clogging up the network with all the microtransactions in between. Next are optimistic rollups. Rollups are complex machines that are not on the blockchain running the transactions but are submitting different styles of proof protocols back to the main chain for verification. These rollups, when implemented, will give ETH the ability to have 100 times faster speeds. And the third layer two solution will be ZK rollups. They increase scalability through mass transfer processing using zero knowledge proofs rolled into a single transaction. Zero knowledge reduces computing and storage resources for validating the block by reducing the amount of data held in a transaction. The next phase of Ethereum 2.0 will be sharding. Imagine the ETH network being broken up into little itty bits. This allows smaller packets of data to be stored per location, freeing up space per block to increase transaction speed. Currently, Ethereum can process 15 transactions per second, but when Ethereum 2.0 is complete, it could handle 100,000 transactions per second. I've even heard rumors when it's fully completed in like three to five years from now, up to a million transactions per second. So why am I mega bullish on Ethereum in general? Because Ethereum is aiming to be a world computer. That's right, a global computer where everything and anything is built on top of all applications, transactions, currencies, data processing, everything will happen on the Ethereum network. It is already a massive beast with something like hundreds of institutions, governments, banks, everything integrating and building on top of Ethereum already. So when it scales, and indeed it will, absolutely, it will become the most powerful computer in the world, and that means it should have a tremendous market cap. There's been this rumor going around since 2017 called the flippening. What that means is people suspect that maybe Ethereum will flip Bitcoin for the number one place. I think this is possible, however, I'm not betting on it. While it takes some time for Ethereum 2.0 to kick into full speed, right now, layer twos are extremely exciting. Like I mentioned earlier, Polygon has already been on a moon mission and still has a lot of way to go. If you don't wanna miss out on the next layer two solution, I recommend doing your own research on upcoming, exciting,
exciting Layer 2 projects. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I think I found a very exciting, very under the radar Layer 2 solution that's already on testnet coming up soon. What is that? It's called Metis DAO. Metis DAO is a layer two scaling solution to Ethereum that's, like I said, already on testnet, meaning that things are already happening and very soon, paid network, for example, can go on Metis DAO. We can have transactions still on the Ethereum network, finalized on the Ethereum network, but all the transaction costs and speed are lightning fast and costing a fractions of a penny. Based on everything that I've been talking about, you can tell that I'm extremely bullish on Ethereum, Ethereum 2.0 coming up. I think that the rest of the world is becoming very, very aware of what's going on with Ethereum and all the other protocols that are Ethereum killers will maybe not hold so much ground when Ethereum 2.0 is actually launched or even when it gets to partial Ethereum 2.0. Just relieving some of the congestion, the gas would do tremendous wonders for Ethereum based on where I believe we're going for the kind of peak of this bull run. I believe that we're looking at a $20,000 ETH at the top of the bull run. Would you like to hear more about exciting new projects coming out like Metis DAO or deep dives that we go into in big projects like Ethereum? Make sure you subscribe to this channel because we got more videos coming your way.